Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today we got this variable voltage box from Joe's Auto Electric and I'm just gonna be giving a quick rundown on how it's used, what it's used for, and the setup. All right, let's get started. So first off, when it comes to the setup, you got the power and ground supply over here. Now you wanna run that to a battery, but be careful, you want to use a fuse. So I have an inline fuse here, hooked up to the positive cable. You can do negative too, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, actually, I prefer to use the ground, but I already have it on here, so it's really not a big deal. Uh, and then, that goes right to the battery. So that's gonna power this up, and from there you can make your selections. You know, it, it does zero to 30 volts, so you can select it, and then you just dial, you know, turn the dial until you get it where you want it. So say it's a five volt reference circuit and you think it may be shorted or, uh, you know, whatever you want to, you just want to put five volts on that circuit. You select five volts and then you're good to go. Uh, or what if it's an eight volt circuit, you know, I see these other five volt uh, power sources and, you know, that's great for a five volt circuit, but you know, a lot of these vehicles use like an eight, eight volt reference or a 10 volt reference, you know, <laughs> whatever the manufacturer decides. Now, this being zero to 30 volts, uh, it, can, it can pretty much handle it all. And uh, so it's got the variable voltage, but it's also got the pulse width modulation control. So that's where these leads are. So I have this hooked up to the pulse width modulation and I have it hooked up to that uh, headlamp actuator. On the, on the back of the box here, that's where uh, you just wanted to supply like a steady voltage. Uh, that's where you would hook these leads. So there's also a little switch right here. You can toggle and you can switch the polarity. So I'll show you that here in a minute. Basically what it does is, you know, it'll, it'll spin the motor in the opposite direction. Uh, say you're working on a, uh, a window motor, you know, and the window is stuck and you want to get it down. Well, you got to switch the polarity. You know, you could just, you could do that manually, you know, with the leads and a battery and a power probe or whatever, but this is basically a power probe on steroids. Uh, <laughs> be very careful with it. You, if you don't know what you're doing with this thing, you, you'll fry something, guaranteed. If not, just fry this box. So, anyways, enough talk, let's get started. I'm gonna show you how it works. So, it also tells you the amperage draw as well. So that's pretty cool. It, it, you know, it'll tell you how many amps it's pulling comparatively to like, we're gonna test both these and I haven't done this yet, so I assume the bad one's gonna pull more amperage. However, there's no load on it, you know, this, that little gear, it's gonna spin, and you're gonna see it spin up here. Uh, but without there being like a, you know, something that it's pushing, like a headlamp assembly, we may not see that big of a difference. I don't know. So, anyway, so I have it set to 12 volts because uh, these operate on a 12 volt system. I'm sure they would run on 10 volts or 13 volts, or you might fry something. I don't know. But we're not gonna do that. Uh, for the purposes of this test, I'm just going to show you how this operates, and all right, let's get started. So, I just got the scope on there just because I just kind of, it's cool to actually see the pulse width modulation. All right, so I have uh, these leads hooked up to just the power and ground on the, or the, yeah, power and ground on the motor, and so I'm just going to turn this dial and I think I need to change this time base here and this is spinning you guys can't see it I'll zoom you in here in a second so you can see it a little closer and it's just it, it's going over its limits on the scope so I just want to uh, real quick I just want to make sure everything's good over here there we go
Okay, let's start that over. So, you can see, I don't know if you can see that spinning up there. Uh, we're going to shut it off. Almost off. Yeah. You're just going to see the, uh, it's demanding the, the pulse width modulation, so, uh, you can see it's spinning. See the, uh, I don't know if you can see that little gear there spinning. So, you know, that's, that's what our motor is going to look like right there. Let's try the other one. So, turn it off. Should be the motor should be a good motor. Uh, just curious if we'll see a difference. If I can get my bicycle. <laughs> okay. Just doing it the old tap test. It glitched out. So, the reason I just wanted this up here, like I was saying, is just so you can actually physically see the pulse width modulation and, and what I'm talking about. That's much better. So, Super close up. You guys can see the, uh, that's the manual that uh, lever that you can move if you want to adjust them. But I don't know if you guys can see that little uh, gear spinning there. That's what actually attaches to the headlamp assembly. So, so I'm just increasing the uh, pulse width and so I don't know if you guys can see here at the bottom where it says 0 .4, like 0 0.4 amps. So it's telling us how much amps that this actuator is actually drawing. So the higher, the faster it spins, the more amperage. So right now we're peaking 0.7 amps. 0.75. So let's put that other one back on there and see if it's less. All right. And really, you don't want to short those out, so be careful. You don't want to. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. It will fry this. You don't want to short these together, so just take the precautions and you'll be a happy mechanic with a great tool. Okay, so see it's, it's set up a little different. I hope you guys can still see that wheel. Okay, so I'm gonna crank it up. All right, so, yep. It's about the same, 0.74 amps. Anyways, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, something a little different. I just kind of wanted to go over this because I think a lot of people don't really understand what it does. Uh, you know, what its full potential is. If you've got an actuator, a solenoid, a, you know, anything that's pulse width modulated, a, you know, window motor or whatever, you know, that, just use your imagination. Um, this this would be a great tool for you. And you can find them at joesautoelectric.net. Uh, if you have any more questions, you know, I'm sure he'll be glad to answer you as well. A really good dude. Uh, you know, I bought quite a few things from him in the past and all great products. So, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.